The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today is the beginning of our the Bishop's Annual Appeal. We are Catholics know this comes around every year. And uh, so we have a, a video message from Bishop Parks, who does a great job, seven-minute message. And the last time I showed the video of the bishop uh, on... Uh, uh, Bishop's Annual Appeal Sunday, someone came up after Mass and said, Father, that was the best homily I've heard you give in a long time. <laughs> so I uh, hope this will be a, a great homily that, that you'll enjoy as well. And Bishop Parks always does a wonderful job. My brothers and sisters in Christ, during this period of Eucharistic revival, Catholics across the United States are being called to renew our recognition of and devotion to the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. The Eucharist, Christ's own body and blood, unites the church in faith, binds us together in hope, and inspires us in charity. As I travel throughout South Georgia, visiting our schools and parishes, a word that continually comes to mind is presence. In the celebration of the Paschal mystery, Christ becomes present to us. The real presence of Christ's body and blood nourishes us and inspires us to make his presence known to one another and to the world. As your bishop, it is very important to me to be present to you. As members of the body of Christ present to one another, we are witnesses to the kingdom of God on earth. I'd now like for you to hear from others in our Eucharistic family about the gift of presence in ministry. My name is Sharon Carson. I am a member of St. Benedict the Moore Catholic Church in Savannah. I am the parish secretary, but I really got my start in the religious education program as a catechist. I've also worked now 
as the Director of Religious Education. I am a Eucharistic minister. I work in the evangelization program. And I also work with our youth ministry. My presence in my ministry just is so vital to me because it is important for me to not only know my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, myself, but to share the good news of Jesus with others, to help them to know, to love, and to serve our Lord and Savior. And so I am just so excited about this program. The annual Catholic Appeal supports all of our ministries, and with your support, we can continue to do that, to spread the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with all of the people that we come into contact with, especially those who are most in need of knowing who our Lord and Savior is. My name is Kelly Wynn. My name is Huang Wynn. And we, we are, are the parishioners at Sacred, Sacred Heart, Heart in Robbins, Robbins, Georgia. My presence as the Director of Religious Education at Sacred Heart is important as I lead a group of catechists and aides in echoing the Catholic faith weekly to all of our children who are our next generation. In order to do this, I use the tools that's provided and paid by the diocese, such as the catechetical certification training, Franciscans at home. With the training, the catechists and aides get a broader knowledge of the faith and share the good news with their students. I believe that my presence is important where I can serve the underprivileged individual and the needed of, of the fringes of the society. And this is where I truly encounter the humanity of Jesus. The annual Catholic Appeal support my ministry and with your support we will be able to catechize more adults so they can echo to all young people the gospel, pass on the love of the faith, and be an example on how to serve each other. The annual Catholic Appeal is about serving your neighbor and serve God. My name is Madison Salzillo, and I'm a member of St. Michael's Catholic Church on Tybee Island. I am the Director of Faith Formation. My presence as the Director of Faith Formation is important because my job, along with all of our parish members and their parents, is to prepare the youth of our community to be strong Catholics for the rest of their life. We give them the sacraments, we help them understand their education and their role as Catholics within their community, and also how being a Catholic is so important to their faith and development as a person. The Annual Catholic Appeal supports my ministry because the Annual Catholic Appeal contributes to campus ministries throughout our universities in the Southeast, and hopefully that money can help our children to continue their role as Catholics within their religious um, communities as they go on to college and they leave me and go into the real world. As you can see, our church in Save, in the presence of Christ, thanks to your support of the annual Catholic Appeal. Together we are caring for the vulnerable and suffering, accompanying the sick, supporting our rural mission parishes, and helping to bring healing to those who have been separated from the Catholic Church. United in the Eucharist, we are strengthening families in faith, advancing Catholic education, and planting seeds for Catholic vocations and for lives lived in the fullness of Christ's peace, joy, and love. As we celebrate the 2024 Annual Catholic Appeal, I ask for you to pray for the many active ministries throughout our diocese and consider how the Lord is asking you to be present. For those who are able, I ask you to support the mission of our local church through a gift to the annual Catholic Appeal. Please know how grateful I am for your time, your prayers, and your generosity. May we meet each day in our prayers and rejoice in the Lord always.
Madison, our director of religious ed education, did not tell me she was a movie star. She was in the, we're very blessed in our diocese of Savannah, the worst, a small diocese, you know, we have about 80,000 Catholics, and compared to so many big dioceses like Atlanta, has 1.5 million Catholics, you know. Um, but I always say to them, don't forget, we birthed you. <laughs> the Diocese of Savannah was the whole state of Georgia before the Diocese of Atlanta ever existed. And one of the great statistics that many people don't realize, in the United States alone, there's 13,500 Catholic parishes. Think about that for a minute. 13,500, just like our little parish here, that preaches the gospel, brings Jesus Christ to people, forgives their sins, anoints the, the sick, buries the dead, teaches the children, takes care of the poor. The Catholic Church is very, very powerful for good. And we get a lot of bad press, but we get a lot of good press too. Because the church does so much good, and the church has so many good people just like you who love Jesus and try to build his kingdom. So thank you. Thanks for, if you're able to help the Bishop's Annual Appeal. I hope you will. St. Michael's is always very generous and, and gives more than even we're asked to give. And uh, it's uh, part of supporting. We are one body in Christ, and we have to have a Holy Father. We have to have a bishop. You know, I can't say Mass or operate without a bishop. If I'm not in union with the bishop and the pope, I can't be a priest. There's no free agents here. You know, we're part of one body in Christ, and we're all one, and only a bishop has the fullness of the priesthood. So I can't even celebrate Mass unless I am in union with my bishop. And so that universality is what the word Catholic means, the universal Christian church, Jesus established, to get people to heaven. And it's working. We get people to heaven every day. So thank you for your help. Please stand.